Hi, I'm Derek Rodway and I'm sitting on top of a Dumbia Superola 5.7 trailer. Now, why am I sitting on this? It's because we've just finished building the Seafarer Victory here, the Vicious Edition. Uh, we built this for uh, Roswell Marine and that boat is mint. It's water tested, it's ready to rock and roll. The thing is, it's still sitting on its original work trailer. Now, the other thing you're going to notice is that work trailer is also a Dumbia Superola 5.7, but it's on mechanical brakes, and this one's been custom ordered in with electric brakes. So, when you're looking at a new trailer, one of the things you need to consider is what is your payload, and not just what is the payload of the boat, it's the equipment as well. So this one weighs in around 1.9 ton, sitting on the trailer without fuel, but it does have the batteries on board. So by the time we add um, 200 litres of fuel, and then we throw a couple of tackle boxes, some badass fishing rod setups, some food, drinks, ice, etc. We're over two tonne. So that's why we've ordered this trailer here to bring us in uh, into the legal limit of being over two tonne. And you can only go over two tonne with the electric brakes in New South Wales. So let's dive into the Dumbia trailer and find out why we chose a Super Roller 5.7 to go under the Seafarer Victory. This is the electric braking controller that runs the braking system for the trailer. Now, this is controlled by a controller module in the car, which from my understanding runs off an inertia system. As you hit the brakes harder, it can sense what you're doing and puts more power into the controller, which then applies the brakes in the trailer. Now, you've got a boost control as well, which allows you to be able to increase or decrease the amount of power sent to the brakes. There's also a, an emergency leveler there, so if you are in deep trouble and you don't even want the controller to think about what's going, you can put your hand down, slam on the electric brakes, full lock. Good chance you'll probably lock up the tyres on the trailer as well, and that'll help bring you up, um, slow you up nice and quick in an emergency situation. Now, this is running four-wheel disc brakes that are run by a, a hydraulic line that runs all the way to the back there. So it's basically the best of the best. It's not far off the kind of braking system you're going to get in a car. It doesn't have ABS, so I can promise you that. Let's have a look at what the standard mechanical brake system has, because that'll give you a really good contrast of why we've gone to this unit. This is your mechanical system for a trailer. Now these come in uh, when your trailer's got a GVM in higher than 750 kilograms and up to two ton. So the way the system works, you've got this, this shaft here, uh, which runs straight through this cast part here, right through in this bolt head here is the other end of it. So as the trailer hits the brakes, the whole trailer's pushing forward and it slides forward on this shaft. As it slides forward, the bolt here pushes against the hammer here and that's what's applying the brakes. So, that mechanical system here goes through to these cables which run through back to two calipers at the back. So to think that this is going to provide the same level of braking capacity as what an electric brake trailer is just not even close. But for a lighter weight boat it's doing the job quite comfortably. The reality is that when you've got a mechanical brake trailer the car is doing certainly the, the majority of the work as compared to with an electric brake trailer where they work together um, and the trailer is doing a lot more of the work in slowing down the trailer in, in the towing setup. This little lever here is there to prevent the brakes turning on when you need to reverse the trailer up an incline or into a driveway. So if you can think about from a gravity point of view, the gravity is pushing the trailer down onto this shaft and it's basically putting the brakes on purely because of gravity. So when you push this down, that kills the brakes and allows you to reverse this trailer up the hill. With electric brakes, it knows what's going on and it'll let you reverse anything up a hill. There's no issue at all. One other cool thing about mechanical brakes is it does have a path brake. You can lock this on and that's going to lock your trailer up. With an electric brake trailer, you don't have that. So make sure you take a wedge with you to stick under the tyres because that's going to be your part brake if you're parking it on an incline. This is the view that your boat will have when it's coming on to the trailer. It's a whole lineup of rollers. Now, there's lots of different trailer systems in the market. There's carpeted skids, there's keel ladder roller systems, there's truckloads. Hands down, with my experience in using boats and driving on and off trailers, you cannot beat the super roller system or this multi roller system with no keel rollers in the middle. Now, I'll explain to you why. When the boat's coming on, the keel of the boat is going to fall into the cradle here of these rollers and it can't get out of that. There's no way it can meander. It's fully locked into the dead rise of the V of the hull. So when you come in, once that boat settles into that cradle area at the front, it's pretty much just power it straight up. You can try and turn the wheel and your boat might move maybe a few degrees to the left or right regardless of the angle of the engine. It's fully trapped and that's a good thing because it means you don't have to think about it. The trailer does all the steering for you. You just bring the boat up all the way to the winch post, click it on, super, super easy. There is other trailers out there which are expensive and advanced and they do run a keel roller system, but you'll find they've got massive guides 
running down to bring the boat in and they're there for a specific purpose. If you've got a tidal environment where you're bringing your boat off, something like the Loader Pro from Dumbia works a treat because as the boat comes in, you've pretty much got a fail safe system. The boat's highly likely to come in skew if or crooked because of the tidal flow and that's gonna hit those side skids and then be forced down into a keel, a keel ladder roller system and allow the boat once again to come straight up. It's never gonna be quite as smooth as, a, as what the Super Roller does, but there's some environments where you just want that extra protection, um, safeguard because you've got, you know, situations where you're not gonna guarantee the control of the boat because of that flow of the ocean around the trailer. When it comes to changing your trailer over under your current boat, you need to have a look at the boat manufacturer's specifications and see if they refer to anything regarding support for your keel. Some boats have a construction system which may not be compatible to a full multi-roll system like that and they may need that extra keel support. So that's something you should consider when you're looking at a new trailer for your boat. So if we look at this assembly here with the Super Roller, this is what makes this trailer so damn good when it comes to putting under just about any boat. There is so much flexibility with the setup. So obviously you've got the, the shaft to be able to go up and down, and this is a unique feature alone. There's some really cheap trailers out there, and if you look at the way the actual shaft that supports the roller assembly is built, it is so flimsy and so pathetic, you are pretty confident that on the way home, the whole thing's just gonna collapse on you. So when you're looking at a new trailer, pay attention to the quality features. For example, in this trailer here, we've got double bolt supports to support the clamp. We've got double bolt supports to support this, um, this box section running through here. Uh, it's as solid as a house. It doesn't matter how much you jump on it, it's not gonna move and give way. It's just very, very, very well supported. Now, if we move into the actual um, area here, these arms are adjustable. So it doesn't matter where your running strakes are sitting on your boat. Some boats have very large, exaggerated running strakes. Some boats have very small running strakes. It doesn't matter how the hull has been designed with running strakes. We can maneuver these arms to out in to suit um, the bottom of your boat. And that's the key. You want to have it so when the boat comes on, it doesn't get hooked up on anything. You, don't, you just want a clean run in and out of the trailer every time you launch and retrieve. This rear rocker assembly is awesome for the Super Roller. Now it's got a limit to where it can go and how far up and down it can go. But for things like beach launching or shallow launching, um, it's a really helpful part to be able to get the rollers down under the under the uh, chine of the boat to capture that hull and help bring it up and get it onto the trailer. Now this has three height settings as well. Um, so you can adjust these rollers up and down. They run a very different system to what the, the main roller systems are running there. But still a really flexible way to help get your boat on and off the trailer in different varying conditions. Now your boat must be, might well be the sexiest boat on the water, but it can't beat upgrading your trailer to make sure your trailer matches your boat. And the best way to do that is with our alloy wheels. Dumbia provide a good range of alloy wheels. These ones are an upgrade from GT Max at, at Good Times Marine. Um, there's a whole range of different wheels on the market. One thing you need to be conscious of, it's not a matter of just going down to your local tire shop and sticking a mag on your trailer. There's different offsets that you need to be able to account for. And on top of which, the tire has to match the weight load of what your boat's going to be. So it's important that you have a good long think about it. Best of all, trust an expert to get it right. Um, so when you're looking at a trailer, have a think about your wheels. It makes a big difference to the presentation of your boat. I hope this has been a big help if you're looking for a trailer. We've covered a fair bit of ground there talking about braking systems and different sort of trailer setups. If you're looking for a new trailer for your boat, the Dumbia range is huge. You've got entry level trailers from little kayaks and jet skis right through to massive trailers to suit sort of eight, nine meter plus boats. There's a massive range of, of trailers in that lineup. And depending on where you're going to be launching and retrieving, there's a design that's going to suit what you need to make it easy to get your boat on and off its trailer. Have a good look at the lineup of Dumbia trailers and I'm sure you'll find one that's going to tick the box for you.